Slimy Stewarts. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Well, that was when a Stuart bloke called Guy Fawkes tried to blow up the King about 400 years ago. Hello. Fireworks night can be very dangerous. I should know. I'm Roman Catholic revolutionary Guy Fawkes and I'm here to give you a few important safety tips for November the 5th. Bonfire night safety tip number one. Be very careful when transporting 36 barrels of highly explosive gunpowder into a cellar below the Houses of Parliament. Oh, no, no, no smoking. Safety tip number two. Always make sure there are no fellow Catholics in Parliament. You wouldn't want to blow them up, would you? I think I'll write a letter to Lord Monteagle to warn him not to come to Parliament on the 5th. Oh, hang on. Could that jeopardise our plan? Mm, nah, I think it'd be all right. Safety tip number three. When you're going to light 36 barrels of gunpowder, do stand well back. Preferably three miles back, so you don't get caught red-handed. Gotcha! I got a tip off from Lord Montego. I, I don't suppose you'd come back in 12 hours when I've blown up the king, would you? No. Safety tip number four. Do be careful not to get tortured. Give me the names of your co-conspirators. No. Not even that idiot what wrote to Lord Monteagle. Oh, yes, you can have him. Bonfire night safety tip number five. And this is the most important one. Under no circumstances get hung, drawn and quartered. Slimy Stuarts. Everyone knows that Guy Fawkes tried to blow up Parliament on November the 5th. But did you know that he was just one member of a much bigger gang? In fact, there were 13 of them all together. Come on, folks. You couldn't have done this alone. Who was in your gang? I'll never tell you. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? No, you don't laugh, I laugh. It was the plot that seemed unthinkable. Fox is the explosives expert. So we're going to blow up King James and his entire family at the state opening of Parliament? That's right. Any reason or just for fun? John Wright is the persuader. Because you're a Catholic and I'm a Catholic and the King hates Catholics. He seems to think we're always plotting something. As if. <laughs> it was the plot that sounded impossible. Robert Catesby is the brains. So we're just supposed to roll 36 barrels of gunpowder down the Thames, sneak it into this rented cellar, wait for Parliament to open, then I creep back in, light the fuse, run away and blow up the King, and all without getting caught? Yes. OK, just checking I had that down right. It was the plot that would surely go wrong. So I persuaded 12 guys all together. That ought to do it, don't you think? You think we need one more? Good nerd. I'll get one more. Um, excuse me. Would you like to be in a plot to blow up Parliament? Oh, yes, why not? Uh, but I'll just check my diary. Uh, when were you thinking? November the 5th? Yeah, I'm free. Fabulous. Well, that's 13, then. Well, isn't 13 an unlucky number? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure it'll go off without a hitch. Francis Tresham is the idiot. Hang on. My brother-in-law's due in Parliament on November the 5th. I'll just send him a quick letter telling him to take the day off. I'm sure you won't tell anyone. It was the plot. Three, two, one. That went wrong. Oh. Horribly, horribly wrong. Fox's 13. What letter? What idiot sent a letter? Glory, ghastly, mean and cruel. Stuff they don't teach you at school. The past is no longer a mystery. Hope you enjoyed. Horrible history.